There is a misconception among players playing Armored Core 6. The misconception is that the stun needle launcher is the ultimate damage dealer one can utilize. That is simply not true. The ultimate damage dealer in AC6 is Ashmid, the melee weapon also known as the pile bunker. The things you can do with this thing, as demonstrated in the opening clip, are simply insane. There's a bit of setup and a bit of understanding that has to be acquired before you can utilize the destructive force, and that's exactly what I'm here for today. Ashmid is a very short range weapon. As demonstrated in the clip provided by the game itself, there is a little lunge involved when you just tap the attack, but when you fully charge the attack, the range of it is simply abysmal. It's a very short range uppercut, like a gut punch. You need to set this up to be as effective as possible. First and foremost, bulkier targets can be cornered and punished with the Ashmid with little to no problem. The issue here is that all the actually challenging enemies in AC6 are highly mobile. So initially what we need to do here is stop them from moving. I'm gonna demonstrate an approach to this in the training area and then we'll keep going on with the breakdown. I'm gonna demonstrate this in a testing area and then I'm gonna continue the breakdown. So we're in the testing area. I'm gonna get a trainer AC here without AI. It spawns one. And now I'm gonna change to the Ashmid and I'm gonna demonstrate the damage. As you can see, we're talking about 60% of its total HP. I'm gonna destroy it now. This combo that I just demonstrated is exactly what you wanna do with Ashmid. And to make things abundantly clear, I'm gonna do this on a fully operational Tainer AC. So we stun it and using forward momentum, we destroy this trainer AC with an one two punch. Did that seem like a random occurrence to you? Let's try it again. Lunge with the lunge. Use forward momentum to charge and blast. And it is done 100% of the time working like clockwork. What's working in the background though, and is it as easy as it looks? First and foremost, when charging this weapon, you can barely move. You have a very, very, very small thrust window at which you need to utilize the weapon and get the damage in. Compared to the Lance's Lunge, that covers a huge distance, this is pretty much nothing. When you do not charge, there is a bit of lunge involved, but the damage is abysmal compared to the fully charged one. So it goes without question that enemies need to be staggered. They need to actually be vulnerable for you to have your way with them. So the lance is the perfect tool with that. And having a shotgun on the right hand ensures that if you're missing a tiny bit of stagger, you can put it in with the shotgun and then go in for the kill. As you saw here though, if the enemy is not stagger, meaning you're not gonna score a crit, you're not gonna score as much damage. So you 100% want them to be in a staggered state. Now let's go back to the garage and continue with the setup for this thing. There are a lot of moving parts when we're talking about setting up a specific weapon. And I'm gonna show you a couple of choices when it comes to the arms of your AC and something very, very important that is tied to your boosters. So let's go to the arms. I am using the Firmeza and I'm using Firmeza for a very simple reason. You go to this menu, you'll see firearm and melee specialization. Firearm specialization improves striking and melee specialization improves the melee attack power. So you want this to be high. Firmeza is not the best at doing this. The best at doing this is actually a set of arms called Basho. Basho has the highest bonus for melee out of every single pair of arms. 
it is totally maxed at 110. The problem is that firearm specialization for this is dookie, it's pretty bad. And because I'm also running a shotgun, I want to be able to utilize all of my tools to fight effectively. I don't make the kind of builds that focus on one thing 100% and everything else is abysmal. I don't like, let's say, glass cannon builds. So I'd go for Metsa, but if you want to go 100% for the melee damage, you will try to get Basho as soon as possible. There is an other piece that is very integral, and I was missing it for the longest of times, and this is the booster. On the booster, you want this stat, the melee attack thrust, to be as high as possible. Thrust when homing in on enemies using melee weapons. Most melee weapons are capable of homing in on enemies within certain ranges. This value increases the speed of those homing attacks. The booster of our lance, this is, and the tiny thrust forward of the Ashmid and melee attack EN consumption or energy consumption. EN consumed by movement resulting from use of melee weapons, that is the booster at the back of the lance or any melee weapon whilst you're moving towards the target during a lock-on. I am not talking hard lock here, just having them in your sights is enough. So combining Kikaku with Basho will make sure that that initial lance launch will hit and if the lance launch hits 100% it will most probably stagger the enemy if not a Zimmerman or whatever burst damage weapon will finish the jump by just a tiny bit more impact added to the equation then you switch to the Ashmid and let them have it. This is 100% the most damaging combo you can perform in this game, but as I said, it is a combo. You need to get them in the stagger phase and then decimate it with a pile bunker. If you stagger them in any other way, the pile bunker will do the exact same damage. It's not like the lance somehow debuffs them and you deal more damage, but it's very important to understand that to get all the possible damage in, the lance is as good a complementary tool as any because it inherently deals a metric F-ton of damage. So I hope I opened your eyes to the usage of Ashmid, one of the strongest tools in the game. I will be explaining a couple of my builds in future vids and I've already started making thematic builds based on classic mecha designs, so you can check them out at the end of this vid. Sub like and hit the bell if you want more content like this. Consider supporting the channel via the various socials like Patreon. And until next time, we will stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers!